Hey everyone, this is Will McAdams, CEO and co-founder of Privacy Duck. I am very excited to share with you one of our new updates on one of our most troublesome sites that we've had uh, for years. And that, of course, will be the legendary instantcheckmate.com. Um, <laughs> You know, if you've been around the internet or Facebook or anything for a while, you've seen those ads that say, you won't believe what someone knows about you. You'll fall over in your chair, etc. Yeah, that's Instant Checkmate. Um, they're really big on those ads and uh, they rank really high in Google as well. So as of August 2017, they have a brand new checkout procedure, which is uh, not checkout, but opt out procedure, which is instant you know, believe it or not, from what it used to be. And so um, we're going to share this with you right now as part of our ongoing series of opt-out educational videos as we are big advocates for privacy. If you want to see some more videos, some more tips, some more free guides, navigate over to privacyduck.com and click on the free opt-out resources. We also do have paid opt-out resources where we do that work on your behalf. But if you want to click on that, um, we have videos and guides and everything on how to help you about that. So again, as of August 17th, this is brand new for Instant Checkmate. And the first step, if you don't know if you have a profile on there or not, you'll probably see it on Google when you search your name. But if you don't, you can always double check to see if you have one by just going to instantcheckmate.com and typing in your name. For this example, we'll use John Smith in Chicago, Illinois. And you want to click on this is me and then your gender. Or you can skip that step, whatever is preferable. But that's not where you go anymore to opt out. So if you want to opt out, the first thing you will need is a disposable email address. And I do have other videos up on YouTube about how to obtain one of those. Um, but as a heads up, AOL does not usually work really well with Instant Checkmate's new procedure, we've noticed. So I encourage you to perhaps go to emailondeck.com. That's where I'm going right now in the search window. So this is not going to be an email address you'll keep, not one you're going to write down. Um, just one you're going to use for about two or three minutes as you opt yourself out of Instant Checkmate. Um, and if you want to follow up with the next video, which is going to be Truth Finder, you might want to keep this email and deck open. You can use that for Truth Finder as well in the next video. But So for this, go ahead and click on, go to email and deck, click on I'm a human, and that will be prompted to solve one of their captures, which is otherworldly. It might be this might be clicking on images of cars or something. But go ahead and click on that and click on get email. And right here, you will see the email you have for email and deck. Once again, you don't have to write this down. Just keep this window open. Okay. So i um, not trying to flash you some weird pictures that happens automatically with email on deck. And at this point, you will also want to probably close one of the other windows they might have open automatically, which includes this now life script thin down your thighs ad. Um, heads up, it might be porn, it might be a weight loss ad, but it's a free email, it's okay to use. So. You'll see, you know, if you search for yourself on Instant Checkmate, you'll see it's going to take forever to find if you have a record. But again, you no longer need to go on this whole long route. So after you get your own secure email, go ahead and go directly to the brand new link, which is not going to be in the Yahoo. There you go. It's going to be instantcheckmate.com backslash opt hyphen out. Just like I'm typing it right there. So make sure there's a hyphen between opt and out. So go ahead and click on enter right there. And you can search for yourself by first and last name. And if you have a general last name, you might want to include your city. But always include your state. For this example, we'll use a John Smith in Chicago. Very general. You'll click on search. On the next page, you'll review all of their records and you'll find which one matches you. 
please note you may have a couple that do match you. We will get to that in just one moment. But let's pretend right now that you are John R. Smith from Steiger, Illinois, 61 years old. You'll go ahead and click on Remove This Record. Don't click anywhere else. Don't click on that, but click on the screen button, Remove This Record. You'll be brought to a prompt that will ask you to enter your email address. So this is where you go back to email on deck. Up here where it says your new email, go ahead and copy that and then enter that email right here and click on send confirmation email. You'll now be brought to a little page that says your email has been sent. If you don't see it, be sure to check your bulk mail or spam folder. Once again, I encourage you to use a disposable email like email on deck or a hotmail or something else like that that you don't usually use. Um, please do not use your normal everyday work email or your everyday Gmail because that will be spammed to non uh, to non end basically. <laughs> So uh, you don't want to do that. So um, it sometimes takes a few minutes. Uh, right now, we just saw this came through immediately. If you don't see it immediately, feel free to walk away. You know, it'll do something else for a little bit and come back to your computer about 10 minutes later. Um, and this should be received. But in some cases, it comes immediately, as it fortunately did right now. So go ahead and click on that, and you'll see this email and this button says confirm opt out. Go ahead and click on that immediately and you'll see your request has your request has been received and it's ready to process. Now if you go back to instant checkmate, remember it was uh, 61 years old in Stiergen, Illinois and we are no longer finding that individual because that has been opted out. And so it is an immediate opt-out request that does process. You do not have to save this email. Now, if you do have a second or third record, sometimes people have multiple records on there, you will want to redo this exact same process for every listing. But as a little tip, you'll want to use a different email address. So if you're using email on deck, click on forgot this email and get another click on OK and you'll go through the same process of the spam question and probably deleting the pornographic material that comes up in a second on the back end and that's okay but you know do that as many times as you need to do clear out your cast when you're done and that is how you delete from instant checkmate now, Truth Finder does uh, work with Instant Checkmate, but you'll have to do your own separate opt-out process for that site. Um, it will not automatically reflect from Instant Checkmate at all. Um, and otherwise, that should be good. Um, you do want to check back in about two or three months because you might have one or two repopulations. After that happens, you're usually clear from Instant Checkmate entirely. Um, please feel free to use more of our free resources if you want us to do this work on, our be, um, on your behalf. We do that via our paid opt-out services, which you can find more about by clicking on this little process and service guide link right here, which has full information on who we are and what we do, a bunch of FAQs about um, everything that goes on with privacy doc and the whole privacy process. Instant Checkmate and Truthfinder are serviced by our basic, premium, and VIP privacy programs. If you have any questions, please do give us a call back at 415-320-1845 or email us at services at privacyduck.com. And don't forget to check out our discount programs page. If you found us via this YouTube video, you are eligible for a 20% off discount. We also have further discounts for people who are victims of domestic violence, cyberbullying, ID theft, and situations such as those. Once again, this has been Will McAdam from Privacy Duck. We look forward to working with you and hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.